Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we're going to be learning about the Metrotus butterfly fish. Jumping right into it, this butterfly fish does well in a variety of different aquariums and is a fairly hardy fish that adapts well to the aquarium setting. Looking around online, it seemed most places were out of stock of these guys, but even when they are in stock, they'll cost a pretty penny to get usually ranging from about $300 to $400. It seems to be that these fish are kind of hard to catch, and it's a pretty rare occurrence when one is caught, so once they come on the market, they are definitely pretty expensive. They can get fairly large for a butterfly fish, so by adulthood, I would recommend about a 100-gallon tank to give them plenty of room to swim around in, gives them plenty of space to grow, and also just gives them a ton of of rock to be grazing on. A typical tank setup for butterfly fish is plenty of live rock, but make sure you're actually building some nice caves, overhangings, and a lot of good dark spots to allow that butterfly fish to hide and relax as they acclimate to the tank. A majority of the time with any butterfly, they will be very shy when first introduced to the tank setting, not just when it comes to feeding, but actually just being around other fish they will definitely hide back in the corner a lot at the beginning. Care level, I'd put them at a moderate level. The acclimation of them and the diet are key to taking care of the butterfly fish. It's what can be more difficult at times whenever you have one in the tank. Temper is actually a very peaceful fish. They can even be in pairs. As with most butterfly fish, you do not want to put them in an aggressive fish tank as they will not adjust to it easily. You know, if you drop them in there, that has puffers, you know, triggers, groupers, fish that are very aggressive towards each other, especially during feeding time. This guy is just going to be hiding constantly. Reef compatibility is definitely a no for me. I have seen other butterfly fish like the bandits do really well in reefs. They don't mess with the corals, but these have been known to pick constantly at polyp corals. Brains, your acans, any other large polyp stony corals, are basically fair game for them to snack on. Now, like I said, it is just my opinion on putting them in the reef tanks. Some have been successful in reefs from the video. They're in a very large reef tank at an aquarium. Didn't really seem like he was picking at any of the corals that were growing in there. Most of them were just mushrooms, but still, it looked like he was just grazing around for algae. So it is possible at the end of the day to have one in a reef tank. Temperature, you want to keep it at 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's basic there. You know, of course, make sure your levels are still in check. You don't want any spikes to happen, especially when they're first introduced. Keep up with your water changes. Watch that ammonia. Watch that nitrates, and you'll be just fine taking care of this guy. The size once hitting adulthood is around 6 inches, so a decent sized fish by the end of it. They will need plenty of room to grow. That's why I usually try to get a 100-gallon tank. Most of the time, those tend to be 4 to 6 feet long, depending on the shape. So that gives them tons of room to swim around in and grow. Colors. Love the colors on these. A very bright, bright yellow body with these 2 to 3 dominant black stripes going across them. They look very good under some LED lights. Diet. They are an omnivore, so they're going to be grazing for algae on the rocks in the wild. And they'll also look for meaty foods like inverts as well. So you want to kind of try to mimic that as best you can in your own tank. I definitely recommend providing them with a variety of different foods, especially at the beginning. Butterfly fish can be very bad about not eating when first introduced into the aquarium. It can be a big headache trying to figure out why aren't they eating the food I'm giving them. Just be patient. Have plenty of different things to try. And always feed them, you know, different times of the day. Maybe turn your current off, let the food float down to them. However you got to do it, just try bunches of different ways to get them to eat so they'll get comfortable. I usually like to get frozen cubes of different things like bloodworms are a fan favorite of butterfly fish. Mysis, brine, even krill. Have those melted down in a little Tupperware cup, spoon fed it to them in the tank. If he's hiding back in the corner, you know, sometimes you can get those little turkey basters and squirt some of it back there so it floats directly down to them. And sometimes even if it's just sitting there on the sand bed, they'll still come out and pick at it. Having natural algae like hair algae or even microalgae growing in the tank 
is another great way for them to have a natural resource to eat on as they learn to eat from you eventually. So that'll give them something to eat on while they're not eating what you're feeding your other fish. But the hope is that while they eat that, they'll also eventually start eating that stuff as well. Origin for these fish are deep underwater in the Maldives and around surrounding islands out there. Compatibility, just ask. They do well alone or in a pair together. They usually aren't seen in groups. They also do well with other species of butterfly fish in case you wanted to get multiple different kinds and put together. They do fine that way. I'd recommend putting them in a docile fish only tank. That's like the best ones for them. Tangs, angels, gobies, clownfish, wrasse, blennies, they'll all get along with those together and will eventually be out and about all the time in the tank. So putting them with those more docile, peaceful fish will keep them a little shy at the beginning, but eventually we'll get used to it and we'll come out. However, like I said earlier, you put them in there with some very aggressive fish that like to chase them down, he's going to hide constantly. After that, that really isn't much more to talk about for this beautiful butterfly fish. Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us in this hobby. The more we learn from each other, the better we'll be at taking care of these beautiful fish. Please leave a comment or reach out to me on social media if you have any more questions or want to share your own experience with this fish. Hope everyone has a great weekend and I will see y'all later.